What's up y'all, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. In this video, we're gonna be working on the hardware of the EVO 9. If you're new here, you'll see we're in the middle of restoring the underside of an EVO 9, and we are to the hardware now. Um, all the nuts, bolts, washers, all that stuff under the car, they need to be cleaned up and refreshed and all that. So um, I have opted against the zinc plating route. Uh, I was gonna do that, but um, one, the wait times these days are insane, and two, um, I didn't wanna risk sending all that stuff off and not getting everything back, just et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of things that went into that thought process, but uh, we're gonna try to do it all here. So um, let's get into this thing, clean these bolts up, and uh, see what we can do. Alright, so I've seen and heard about this being done and it seems to work okay. It seems to have good results, so we're gonna give it a shot. Um, I absolutely hate this product white vinegar. Um, I can't stand how it smells, but I've read and seen that the acid in this will eat away the corrosion and the rust and all that stuff on the hardware. So we're going to put the hardware in some totes, pour this stuff on it, let it sit for a day, and then see what happens. Um, if it's still rusty after a day, we'll do it again, let it sit there for another day, and go from there until it's all cleaned up. So um, yeah, let's do this. All right, so I wish I would have decided about this before I put them all in one big bag because I had everything organized and like, all in individual baggies and all that stuff, but is what it is. Let's put the bolts in this little tote and pour in some vinegar and see how this goes. Okay, ugh, it smells so bad, uh, but we'll let that sit for a day and we'll check back and see what happens. Um, I can already see it kind of working. There's lots of bubbles and stuff going on and uh, the water, well, the, the vinegar is turning like kind of brown and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, see what happens. See you in a day. <laughs> All right, so we are about 24-ish hours from putting the hardware into the vinegar. So um, yeah, let's open up this tote, see what we got. And uh, I'm kind of dreading it because I know the smell is just gonna be like in your face. So um, yeah, let's open it up, see what we got. All right, so I've got some warm water here with some baking soda in it. Uh, we'll take the parts out of here, stick them in here, kind of wash them a little bit, and then we'll stick them on the towel here, get them all laid out. But um, from the looks of things, it looks pretty poopy in there, but um, I expected it to be a lot worse, honestly. So um, yeah, let's see what we got. Blech. All right. Oh my God, the smell. <laughs> I'm probably being a little bit of a baby on this, but I just, I hate the smell of vinegar. Uh, but man, that was strong. Okay, um, now that it's like in the air, it's not so bad. But um, let's pull out some parts here and see what we got going on. Um, wow. Ate that pretty clean. Um, I'm going to put this right over here for a second, but... Uh, Wow, look at that. Check that out. Pretty damn clean, if you ask me. Um, just gonna keep pulling some things out here. Get a little wire brush going. A lot of it's just like funk and stuff that's still Looks like road grime and stuff like that. Not really rust on these, but uh, the bolts themselves are like, I mean, super clean. <laughs> this is gonna be pretty cool if all this stuff comes out looking um, really, really nice. Like I think they're gonna, um, yeah, I mean, look at this bolt here. I mean, that is, I'm not sure if you can tell how clean that is, but man, that is night and day difference <laughs> from what it was. Um, all right, I'm gonna start pulling out a bunch of this here and uh, see what we got going on. And um, yeah, I'll hit you back when I get some more stuff out of this vinegar. All right, so I've got all the bolts and stuff out of the vinegar, um, except for this little line here. But um, I will say that this is what I expected it to look like. Um, all that stuff kind of settled down into the bottom. And so now that I've got it all out of there and started up, you can see like all like the old paint and like coating and like rust and dirt and just everything is just uh, big chunks of it and stuff are just floating around in there. Um, pretty crazy. I've got them soaking here in the water now. It's even turning this water uh, kind of a crappy color and big chunks of it are still coming off. Um, so 
Yeah, we're going to finish washing these up here, and then we'll get them out and dry them and see how they look. Um, there's a lot of these that I'm just amazed with how how clean they are. So yeah, I'll finish washing these off, and then we'll put them out on the towel here and show what we got. All right, so a lot of the washers and stuff look, I mean, brand new, like super good, no rust, no corrosion, no nothing. Um, a lot of the bolts also are, I mean, completely bare, not a thing on them, um, look really, really good. There are some that still has some like corrosion and rusty stuff like this right here. Um, so I'm gonna put these back in the vinegar for a little while longer, uh, probably like four to six hours or so. Um, I'll go through and sort out which ones look good, which ones look bad, etc. throw them in there, let them soak a little bit longer, and then, um, I actually ordered a tumbler as well, so that should be here today, hopefully. So by the time we get these back out of the vinegar and get them all cleaned up and all that stuff, uh, that tumbler should be here. And we can throw these bolts and stuff in the tumbler, let those things knock around for a little while and get them looking really, really nice. And then also, um, I contacted a friend of mine who has a parts washer and he's going to allow me to come over and put the bolts and stuff in that parts washer. So we should have some really, really good looking hardware here soon. Alright, we let those bolts soak for, I don't know, probably another six hours or so. Um, so. They came out much better this time. Uh, the ones that had rust before um, look much, much better. Uh, there still is some rust on some of the bolts, but um, it's coming off of like a screwdriver or this little Dremel piece here, this little wire wheel. Um, it's not like super abrasive. It's just enough to knock it off. So um, that's working out pretty good, but we got the tumbler in. So I went and got some tumbler media and we're gonna put some media in this thing, cover the bottom, put the hardware in, put some more media on top of that, and then we'll turn this thing on and we'll let it shake for, I don't know, an hour, two hours, and uh, see what happens. So let's do that and go from there. Alright, we got it all filled up. Um, I will link this tumbler down below actually. Um, I got it from Amazon. Um, you can get it from Harbor Freight or wherever, but um, this one was a little bit cheaper on Amazon, so I got that one from there. Um, and I got this media from Harbor Freight. It's just their green resin uh, material. I'm not sure what else you want to call it, but it's just tumbler media. Uh, so, yeah, let's start shaking. Boom. Alrighty, that's about four hours of shake, rattling, and rolling. Um, let's see what's going on here. <laughs> Dang, alright, let me brighten this up a little bit. Alright. Wow, look at that. Pretty cool. Um, let me get all these out of here. There's a lot to fish out, so <laughs> let me get it all fished out and then we'll take a look. All right, we got everything fished out. I turned off one of the brighter lights because it was a little too bright to tell. Um, everything's still a little bit dusty right now, but um, holy crap. <laughs> I, uh, I'm just so surprised at how everything turned out. It's so clean. Um, everything looks so good. Um, now, next up is the parts washer. We gotta go over and uh, put this stuff in the parts wash, um, get it all cleaned up, looking nice, and this stuff should look good as new here soon. It's pretty insane. <laughs> All right, we got everything loaded up. Uh, let's go get this stuff into the parts washer and get it nice and clean. All right, we're back from the parts wash and I gotta say, I'm amazed at how these things turned out. I mean, they look brand new. Um, yeah, there's still some that has some like, some rust on them here and um, super pitted and all that stuff, but um, I think I have some new bolts and new nuts for some of these So I'm not too concerned with it. So now I'm gonna look up and see if there's anything I need to do um, At all to prep these things to spray the Cerakote on them um, Now I know I'm not gonna be able to like follow Cerakote's instructions exactly which um, I don't recommend doing that because if they're gonna give you instructions probably should follow them um, So it turns out nicely, but um, I think because I can't take these things to a sandblaster um, because I think a lot of shops don't want to mess with this stuff because it's just hardware and it's really small and um, it's kind of tedious and all that stuff. So um, I can't take it there. I don't have one. So I think if I just scuff them up somehow and then spray the Cerakote on, they should be fine because um, these bolts and things are not going to be like um, constantly being taken off the car and touched and handled and have tools on them and all that stuff. So um, I don't think that'll be an issue. So I think if I can just scuff them up a little bit and get it to stick and um, just spray it on there, I think it'll be fine. So. Um, I'm going to look that up real quick, see what i got to do, if anything, and yeah, we'll go from there. All 
All right, we're back. Um, let's hang these things up and start getting these things prepped out. I'm gonna spray them with prep all probably, uh, brake cleaner, all that stuff. Make sure they're super, super clean. And then we will begin spraying the Cerakote. Um, we're gonna use titanium on these things. Um, big shout out to Cerakote for providing this stuff. Um, really happy to work with them again. And uh, yeah, let's get these things looking nice and new. got these sprayed and man they look good um, now again as I said before um, I did not prep these how they recommend to apply Cerakote but um, you know I wouldn't recommend doing that um, going against their recommendations but um, as far as me doing this project it laid on really really nicely and I am just gonna let it dry now and uh, then we'll move these out of here and we'll begin spraying some other ones but um, yeah so far, looks super, super solid. Love how this looks on here. Um, I'm excited to see it dry, but uh, right now I'm loving the sparkle and the titanium look. Um, so sick. <laughs> I went ahead and sprayed everything uh, it was I mean this was hours uh, tedious tedious stuff um, getting all these bolts tied up and hung up that was the hardest part really <laughs> of the whole thing um, these are the ones we got out here I just finished spraying these uh, let's go inside real quick and I'll show you the other ones all right so the lighting in here sucks but we got them hanging up here um, on my little makeshift rods um, these guys are hanging out um, doing their thing, drying. Um, these have been setting for a while. These, so the Cerakote is tack free after an hour. Um, it partially cures after 24 hours and then it will fully cure in five days. So um, these were from yesterday. Uh, these were from yesterday. Um, so yeah, they're just kind of hanging out here, drying, doing their thing. All right, we're 24 hours later and I couldn't be happier with how these things turned out. Um, I love the silver. Um, granted, they'll be under the car, you'll never see them, but um, I'll know they're protected, I'll know they're Cerakoted. Um, and all that so um, yeah couldn't be happy with these things um, all the hardware looks this way um, everything turned out super nice I uh, yeah just really really pleased <laughs> And with all that being said, I think I'm going to end it off here. Uh, this was like a week's worth of work. It was, uh, it was so many hours and just tedious work. Uh, the tumbling, the vinegar, the just everything. It was a lot of hours, a lot of work, but I'm glad we did it. Um, I'm glad we opted against the zinc plating. Um, that would have been the easier route probably, but now we can say we did the hardware all ourselves here and it looks amazing. So I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, as I said, I'll never see a majority of this hardware or any of it really. It's under the car, but um, I'll know it's done and that's as good as anything. So <laughs> thanks for watching. I do appreciate it very much. Drop a comment down down below. Let me know what you guys think of the process, the progress. If you have any comments or questions, drop those down there as well. we glad to help much as I can, chat, whatever. And while you're down there doing all that stuff, don't forget to do all the other YouTube things. You guys know how it goes here. I'll see you in the next one. we got some subframe work to do. I'll see you then. Bye.